Are you thinking about using speech recognition software for your medical documentation? Are you considering switching to Dragon Medical One from another product? This brief video is intended to give you a quick look at what it can do, how easy it is to use, and how it can simplify your medical documentation. In a nutshell, what you can expect with DMO are the following. Enhanced productivity, richer communication compared with hand typing, cost savings, and improved and very high levels of accuracy. What specific features set DMO apart from other speech recognition products? First, an extremely high level of accuracy. Speeds very similar to that of other client-side speech recognition products. A very small footprint on your computer. It's cloud-based. Auto updating function, so it never needs to be updated. It has a simpler user interface. It has no need for user training. It has automatic sound input adjustment, no audio setup wizards to, to run or to fiddle with. It has automatic adjustment for accents and dialects. It's compatible with virtually any microphone that can attach to your computer. It has a philosophy strategy such that it will never lose a dictated word. And finally, it has the ability to use an Apple or Android device as a mobile wireless microphone. Nothing shows the amazing characteristics of the application more than a demonstration. So let's see it in action. Show dictation box. Soap template. This 66-year-old man comes for a brief follow-up visit after a recent hospitalization for an inferior STEMI period. He presented to our emergency department with a crushing substernal chest discomfort with radiation to his neck, comma, jaw, comma, and down the length of his left arm period. He had accompanying uh, dyspnea, comma, nausea, comma, and uh, profuse diaphoresis period. His EKG showed an acute inferior injury pattern period. He was brought emergently to the heart catheterization lab where he was found to have a totally occluded mid-RCA period. He underwent thrombectomy and placement of a drug-eluting stent in an uncomplicated procedure period. New paragraph. He comes today indicating that he is doing great, period. He has uh, resumed most of his usual activities, although has not returned to work, period. He is entirely free of any further uh, chest discomfort, period. He feels he is tolerating his medications, period. New paragraph. His current medications include metoprolol succinate, 25 milligrams daily, comma, aspirin, 81 milligrams daily, comma, lisinopril, 5 milligrams daily, comma, Plavix, 75 milligrams daily, comma, and atorvastatin, 80 milligrams daily, period. Next field, brief mail exam. Like all speech recognition products, Dragon Medical One works correctly when it can see the receiving document, by which we mean that the speech recognition application and the receiving document are on the same computer. This may create a challenge if some of the work you do uh, is in documents on your local computer while some documentation takes place in an EMR located on a distant server. Nuance has solved this by creating two versions of Dragon Medical One, a local version and a server version, and you can use either depending on your circumstances. The local version runs on your local uh, computer and will accurately place text and follow commands related to your local environment. This is shown on the left. The server version is placed on the same computer as your EMR and is presented to you virtually. In this scenario, a sound channel is set up from your local machine to your EMR server and everything flows seamlessly. In both situations, your spoken voice is encrypted and sent to a cloud server by means of an internet connection, and return to wherever DMO is situated. And as you saw from the earlier demo, this process is extremely rapid. Is it difficult to use? Hardly. You need only open the application, sign in, put the cursor where you want text to appear, turn on the microphone, and talk. It couldn't be simpler. So how do you get it? Well, you have to buy it or arrange for use of a demo. When you do this, you will get a welcome letter, which includes a link to the product to download page on the internet. Once there, simply click on the Install Dragon Medical One uh, link, and the installation will start. Depending on your internet connection, it may take up to five minutes or so to download the 
current 68.5 megabyte application, and that's it. Once you have it, you'll want to select the microphone you are using, select the preferred specialty vocabulary, and then click OK to open the application. When you open DMO, you will see the Dragon Bar appear on your desktop. I might add that you can move it anywhere you want, and if you don't want to see it, you can minimize it and call it up anytime you may want to see it or use it. It's a very simple user interface. There is a microphone status indicator. It's red when the microphone is off and green when live. It can be toggled on and off by several mechanisms, including clicking on it, clicking on an assigned keyboard combination, or depressing an assigned button on a handheld microphone. There is a sound input volume indicator. Uh, this isn't uh, totally uh, important, but it does give you an indication of whether audio is being picked up by the application. There is an application minimizer icon, which you don't see unless you hover over it. And then finally, there's an application menu, which is on the far right. This is activated or open by clicking on the Nuance icon. As you can see, the menu isn't exhaustive. Realistically, the only places you are likely to visit with any frequency are the options menu and those uh, aspects related to managing auto texts, managing step-by-step -step commands, and managing the vocabulary. We'll get into some of that a bit later. As I said earlier, basic use involves nothing more than turning on the microphone and talking. Are there any nuances to making it work well? Well, to a certain extent, yes. You should try to enunciate clearly. You should try to speak in complete sentences or phrases, and you should try to avoid excessive contaminating external noise. And by the way, you may have noticed uh, this in the initial product demo, DMO will not spit out the text until you pause. If you talk continuously without stopping to breathe, it will wait until you pause before showing the text. So let's see it in action again. Show dictation box. Soap template. This 44-year-old man comes to clinic today in follow-up of palpitations period. He was found to have uh, frequent uh, PACs during a Holter monitor about a year ago period. He was started on a low-dose beta blocker and improved uh, period. Select 44-year-old man, 23-year-old uh, young man. Uh, next field. On examination today, he appeared in no acute distress period. His vital signs included a blood pressure of 123 over 75 comma, a pulse of 60 in regular comma, and a weight of 145 pounds period. Normal head, normal neck. His lungs were notable for a few crackles at his bases, which cleared with deep inspiration period. His heart exam revealed a regular rhythm with a normally situated PMI, which was not enlarged period. He had no murmurs, comma, rubs, comma, or gallops, period. His abdomen was soft and non-tender, period. Normal extremities. Insert after beta blocker and improved, period. New paragraph. He comes today indicating that he is doing great, period. He has had no further clinical uh, symptoms, period. He has no palpitations, comma, lightheadedness, comma, and has been free of syncope, period. Further, uh, comma, he denies any exertional chest symptoms, uh, comma, orthopnea, comma, PND, comma, or edema, period. Select all. Delete that. Close dictation box. One of the unique aspects of DMO is that it's designed such that you will never lose a dictated word. So if you think you were live in your EMR and talking away, but your cursor was rather somewhere else, or no place live, no place in a text entry uh, window, your words will not get lost. They will flow seamlessly into the dictation box. The dictation box is a small, pared-down word processing window that launches automatically and stores any dictated text when it can't go elsewhere. Uh, to see what I mean, take a look at this scenario. Right now, I am in demonstration software. I'm dictating this demonstration video into PowerPoint. I have Dragon Medical One open, but I'm not in the text entry window, so I'm just going to turn on the microphone and start to dictate. Um, there's really no place the text can go at this point, and you're going to see what will happen. 
This gentleman comes for a follow-up visit period. As you notice, it automatically opened up the dictation box. My words were not lost. The dictation box is also a means by which you can use DMO in the occasional situation in which you cannot dictate directly into your EMR. As an example, if DMO is on your local machine and you are using an EMR located on a Citrix server elsewhere, you can still use dictation using a workflow in which you dictate into the dictation box and then, as needed and as appropriate, move text from the dictation box to the EMR using a paste command. While it's preferable to have DMO on the same computer as your EMR, in some situations you simply won't be afforded this option, and using the dictation box as an intermediary is a perfectly fine alternative, and a lot of the workflow can be automated. You have noticed that I dictated punctuation during my demos. This is critical. If you don't, you will create some of the longest, extraordinarily long run-on sentences. Virtually every bit of punctuation is initiated simply by saying the name of the punctuation, such as period, comma, colon, semicolon, etc. Another useful feature which you may have noticed in my demos is the ability to navigate or select by means of voice. You have two options in this regard. You can insert the cursor wherever you want by voice uh, if you want to add text somewhere. Simply tell DMO where you want the cursor to go using the term insert before or insert after uh, terminology, followed by the word or the text at the place that you want to go. Alternatively, you can select a word or a phrase if you need to delete something or change something. You do so simply by saying select, followed by the word or the phrase that you want to select. If there's a really big chunk of uh, text you want to select, you can simply say select uh, a particular word or phrase through another word or phrase, and it will pick it all up. Uh, let me again give you a brief demonstration. Show dictation box. This gentleman comes for a brief follow-up visit period. He was feeling well until about a year ago when he noted a new onset of uh, dyspnea period. Uh, this occurred primarily with exertion period. Uh, increasingly, uh, his symptoms came with uh, lesser and lesser activities period. About three months ago, he began having pressure in his chest with activities period. Uh, this has been uh, progressing gradually period. Now I'm going to show you how we can um, essentially insert before or after someplace. Insert before about three months. His symptoms were fairly stable, period. Insert after brief follow-up visit, period. He is new to me, period. Select this gentleman comes for a follow-up visit, period. This gentleman comes to the office today for a consultation ordered by his primary care doctor, comma, Richard Smith, period. And now to select some text. About three months. Undo that. Undo that. Select about three months ago about six months ago. Select this gentleman through progressing gradually period. Delete that. Uh, close dictation box. Finally, there's one other way you can navigate through a document using pre-specified navigation fields, also called variable regions. If you create a template for your clinical note and populate it with navigation fields defined by a left and a right square bracket, and if you desire any text in between these uh, brackets, DML will recognize these bracket enclosed areas as navigation fields. And it will allow you to move sequentially through these by saying next field or previous field, depending on which direction you want to go through the fields. Or you can also uh, move through fields sequentially using a button on a handheld microphone programmed to emulate these commands. You've seen me use this methodology uh, in the demos thus far in this video uh, in my SOAP template uh, format where I've uh, done some clinical documentation. But here it is in slow motion. Show dictation box. SOAP template. Now I might want to start 
in the subjective part of this note, or I may want to move on and do something else to start with. But um, I can simply move by saying next field, next field, next field, previous field. Or, and it's not obvious to you watching this video, I am doing the dictation using a PowerMic 3 handheld microphone, which has programmable buttons. And I'm going to show you how a simple depression of uh, one of the buttons can move forward. or backwards through fields. So this is a wonderful feature if you are working with an EMR and you have a basic note set up with the structure you like, perhaps with a lot of structured data already entered, a problem list, medications, vital signs, uh, whatever you may desire, then you can just move through the note uh, quickly with, with Dragon Medical One, uh, either by voice or using your handheld microphone to place key uh, narrative text where it needs to go. Select all, delete that, close dictation box. Another powerful function of Dragon Medical One is the ability to trigger the insertion of boilerplate text with a verbal command. Auto texts are a particularly helpful for any repetitive text you use in clinical documentation, such as things like procedural consents, um, exam descriptions or snippets of exams, as I've shown you, uh, documentation of counseling discussions, and perhaps things even like a differential diagnosis for a common problem you deal with, and you'd like to just have that differential inserted. I have found auto text to be particularly helpful for documenting an exam, and although I will occasionally use a full boilerplate exam in general, I tend to stay away from these because I think they're often not honest. I think if you truly did everything that uh, shows up in your boilerplate exam, it's fine to use it, but in my practice, I don't do everything that's in every boilerplate exam, and so I like to be more careful about it. Uh, but So what I've done is I've created both boilerplate exams, but I've also created snippets of exam by sort of body area, and I've shown this already, but I'll show it to you briefly now. Open dictation box. On examination today, he appeared in no acute distress period, normal head, normal neck. His lungs were notable for uh, crackles at the bases, extending up about one quarter bilaterally period. There were a few expiratory wheezes period, normal heart. His extremities were non edematous period. So as you can see, I used a combination of free text for those things that were unique and perhaps abnormal. I used just snippets of exam to, uh, to document the things that I did look at and that were normal. Now, I could easily have skipped something entirely, like not have said his extremities were not edematous if I didn't actually look at them. So this allows you to very quickly create an exam that is uh, very honest and uh, inaccurate. For the user with an existing Apple or Android mobile phone, a great functionality which can be purchased along with DMO is the ability to use your mobile device as a portable wireless microphone. The way it works is that uh, this, uh, the application run on your mobile device links to Dragon Medical One and provides the audio signal to Dragon Medical One by means of your Wi-Fi connection. The connection, as it turns out, is really quite seamless. Why would you want to do this? Well, first, it does away with the need to carry, connect, and wear a separate microphone. And then second, it works great. The PowerMic mobile application, as you can see in this uh, picture, allows programming of five different virtual buttons on the mobile device. And it also has a central button, which you can use to turn the microphone off and on. And you can see from the list on the right that there are any number of functions that you can assign to any uh, button push on your uh, mobile application. Finally, I want to review an extremely useful function available within DMO, which is the ability to anchor the focus of dictation. When Dragon Medical One is anchored to text, to a text entry window, it means that dictated text will flow to this window even if the window is no longer the active window on your computer. In fact, it will flow there even if it is minimized. This is highly useful if you are working on a note and you want text to flow to that note when you may be perhaps perusing the medical record looking for an x-ray report or lab reports. And in essence, what you can do is 
move away from your document, look at those things, paraphrase the data that you see, and it will flow right back to your note that is in progress. When you anchor text, you have to make this happen uh, very deliberately, and I'm going to show you in this next slide how that is done. I can't use an EMR for this demonstration, so I'm going to uh, set it up uh, in a different manner, but uh, here goes. Open WordPad. Anchor Speech Focus. Notice how my microphone now read and off, but it has taken on the appearance of a lock sign. This means that I have anchored text to that location or to this document. And now I'm going to open something else. I'm just for fun, I'm going to open my website. Open my website. And I'm going to dictate something, anything from here. Enhance your productivity. Attorneys and paralegals across the country are turning to speech recognition technology to save transcription costs and provide some advantage. Let's pretend I'm looking at an x-ray report. Uh, his chest x-ray this morning showed uh, no acute disease period. His labs today are notable for, just to show you how good this is, I'm actually going to minimize my word pad. I'm going to stay in the website here. A white count of 6.6, comma, hemoglobin of 14.4, comma, hematocrit 38.8, comma, sodium 140, comma, potassium 4.4, comma, chloride 105, comma, CO2 30, comma, BUN 12, and creatinine 1.0, period. Now when I call up that document, you will see that all of the text that I dictated while I was elsewhere, including when the application was minimized, have shown up in my note. This is really helpful as you're creating a note and you want to add material from elsewhere in your EMR. Dragon Medical One is compatible with most common applications, including most word processing uh, programs such as Microsoft Word, WordPad, and Notepad. Most browsers, including Internet Explorer and Google Chrome. Most common electronic uh, medical records, including Epic, Cerner, McKesson, Athena, and others. And most text entry windows and other applications. Just to give you an idea of how it works and to give you a quick uh, overview of the performance in a few of these applications, I'm going to do a quick demonstration now. First, turn on the microphone. Open Microsoft Word. SOAP template. This elderly gentleman comes for a follow-up visit period. He has a long history of coronary artery disease, a comma hypertension, comma, and diastolic heart failure period. The details of his um, past history are in my note dated June 5, comma, 2017 period. He comes for a six-month follow-up today and says that he is doing well, period. The increase in his Lasix dose at his last visit was helpful, period. He remains fairly active, period. He does still some slick, still some, still report some uh, limiting dyspnea, but he remains fairly mobile, comma, continues to drive, comma, and is enjoying a reasonably good quality of life, uh, comma, all things considered, period. Open WordPad. Next field. This young woman comes for a follow-up visit regarding atypical chest pain period. She began having stabbing discomfort in her central chest about a week ago period. Uh, episodes occurred in the context of some fairly severe stress period. Uh, her episodes were much worse when she lay down at night and often worsened after meals period. She has tried taking some ibuprofen without help period. Multiple administrations of antacids have tended to be helpful, period. Next field. Full female exam. Open notepad. Soap template. This 45-year-old uh, man comes today in follow-up of his coronary artery disease, period. He was recently hospitalized with an acute anterior STEMI, comma, had a stent put in his mid-LAD following a thrombectomy period. 
he was uh, discharged on his third hospital day and comes today indicating that he is doing well, period. He has had no recurrent chest pain, period. He is uh, just about to start cardiac rehabilitation, period. As far as he knows, comma, he is tolerating his medications, period. Okay, if you've come this far, hopefully you're impressed with the technology, but you're asking, okay, how much? Well, here's the bottom line. And be aware that these prices are set by nuance, not by resellers, and they're not negotiable. Here's the tough one. There is a $525 implementation fee at the time you purchase a license. This includes up to three hours of one-on-one -on -one assistance and in installation, setup, and uh, application familiarization. But I know you're not going to want to spend three hours doing this, but you've got up to three hours. There is a $123 per month subscription fee paid via credit card, uh, and there is a three-year contract. So the total cost, if you do the math, is a, just shy of $5,000 for the three years, which averages about $138 a month. The only potential relief is that you're, if you are an existing Dragon Medical user and you can provide an activation code, you will be given a discount to only $79 a month for the first year, uh, which is a substantial savings, which ends up being equivalent to that $525 implementation fee. So it will save you that if you are an existing user. In the end, you may be asking yourself, does it make sense for me to do this? Is it, is it worth the cost? Well, what I can assure you as a regular user of DMO is that it works superbly. The question you have to ask yourself is, what toll is your current workflow taking on you, and how much are you willing to spend to simplify your documentation and improve your productivity. I hope you found this video useful. If there is more that you want to know, please feel free to contact Speech Recognition Solutions either via the phone number shown here or our email address. If you're interested in doing a road test, we would be happy to set you up with a free demo.